Hey everybody, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your very own custom Thunderbolt SSD for your M1 or M2 Mac. If you're looking to upgrade your storage and boost the performance of your Mac, you're in the right place. Before we dive in, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So why build your own custom SSD? Well, one big advantage is that it allows you to upgrade your storage later on. With a regular SSD, you're stuck with the amount of storage you bought it with. But with a custom SSD, you can easily upgrade it as your storage needs change. Big thanks to Sabrin for sending me these products to put this together. They provide high quality tech products and I've featured a ton of their products on the channel. If you're interested in any of the products in this video, I'll leave links to everything mentioned in the video description. Just to demonstrate this, here's a 500GB SanDisk SSD that cannot be upgraded if you decide you needed more storage in the future. Now let's unbox this 1TB M.2 NVMe SSD from Sabrent. This is the SSD that we'll be using in our custom build. Take a look at the size of this SSD. It's small but packs a punch with 1TB of storage. Next, we'll unbox the Thunderbolt 3 enclosure. This enclosure is specifically designed to be used with M.2 SSDs. It's a tool-free enclosure which makes it easy to use for anyone. It comes with a Thunderbolt 3 cable as well. Here's a closer look at the enclosure. You can see how sleek and compact it is. Now let's set it up. I'll be walking you through each step of the process, showing you how easy it is to build your own custom SSD. I'll also be doing a disk speed test and file transfer speed test on my M1 Max MacBook Pro so you can see just how fast your new SSD is. The first thing you want to do is open the enclosure from the bottom with this knob. Just twist it like this and take it apart. Here's a look at the internals for those of you who are curious about how these things are built. Once you have the enclosure opened, the next step is to insert your M.2 NVMe SSD into it. The great thing about this enclosure is that it doesn't require any tools, so it's easy to do even for someone who isn't very tech savvy. You'll want to line up the end of the SSD with the corresponding part of the enclosure, then insert the M.2 SSD at a 45 degree angle until it is properly seated. Once it's seated, turn the little buckle clockwise to secure the SSD inside. That's it. Now reattach the bottom plate and lock it with the knob to make sure it's secure. And here's your fully custom built Thunderbolt NVMe SSD that you can take with you anywhere. Before we set it up on our Mac, let's take a look at the overall design of our new lightweight external drive. If you've watched my videos in the past, then you know I'm a big fan of external drives. What do you think about this one? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Now it's time to connect it to your Mac. All you need is a Thunderbolt 3 cable, so we'll use the one that's provided. Once you've connected the drive to your Mac, a message like this should pop up. Go ahead and click Initialize. This should open this utility. From here, select the Sabrent drive on the left, under External, and click Erase at the top. Now you can give your SSD a name. I'll just name mine Lamar MK. We'll leave the format as APFS and just click erase and wait for it to do its thing. It should only take a few seconds. Now click done and your drive should be all formatted and ready for you to use on your Mac. So now it's time to test the speed of your new custom SSD. I like to use the Blackmagic speed test for this. The results will show you just how fast your new SSD is so click this gear icon, select target drive, and choose your SSD from under locations on the left, then click start. You'll see the read and write speed of your new SSD, and you'll be able to compare it to your old drive or other external drives you might have. Now let's do a real world file transfer speed test. 
I will transfer a 7GB folder from my desktop to the new SSD. This will give us an idea of how fast the drive can handle large file transfers. Drag and drop and it's transferred almost instantly. Now I will do the reverse and transfer the same 7GB folder from the SSD to my desktop. This will show us the read speed of the drive. Drag and drop and it's transferred almost instantly. One important tip to remember when using external drives is to always eject the drive before disconnecting it to prevent any damage to your data or the drive itself. To do this, go to Finder and right click on your SSD and click Eject. Once the box disappears, you can unplug your external drive from your Mac. Now that you have your new custom SSD set up and tested, you can start using it to store your files and improve the performance of your M1 or M2 Mac. Overall, I am very impressed with the speed and reliability of this custom SSD and I highly recommend it to anyone looking to upgrade their storage. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and share it with your friends.